In this video, I'll be installing the MicroAir Easy Start on my bedroom air conditioner uh, in my uh, Outdoors RV 280 KVS. Um, this is a Coleman Mach 15 air conditioner. I've already done the install on the main air conditioner, so I've uh, kind of practiced this already, and so I'll show you what's involved with doing this on a Coleman Mach 15. And there's some links below. Um, I purchased this kit through Hutch Mountain. Um, there's discount codes all over the place in other videos, and I'll include a link to what I found to be a very helpful video. Uh, also, you'll find that below. And of course, the first step is to turn off the breakers um, so we have no electricity up at the air conditioners. I have two air conditioners in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn off both the breakers for both of them, even though I'll only be working on the bedroom one. So up on the roof, uh, the first step, of course, is to remove the cover. Those four big screws at the top uh, will let us do that. Um, so let me do that now. It's a little tricky to get the tripod in here, but uh, what I'm going to do next is remove these, these screws to open up this compartment, and uh, we'll be right back. So it's actually just these bottom two screws that you need to remove, and then this should pull out of there like that. And these are the wires that we need to access. So let's do that next. Of course, again, make sure your power's off. Um, and I'm also going to uh, bridge my little pliers across those terminals to make sure those capacitors don't hold any nasty shocks. Um, they shouldn't by now because this air conditioner hasn't been on for quite a while. But just to be safe, I will do that. One of the things I highly recommend you would also get is this little installation kit. Um, it includes the connectors and all the stuff that you'll need to tap into the existing wiring and connectors on the air conditioner. So now it's just a matter of following the directions here on which wires to identify. One of the cool things about this kit, at least the one I got from Hutch Mountain, is they provide these Wago connectors instead of the splice um, uh, crimping uh, butt connectors. I love these Wagos. They make things really easy and, and they're very rugged and, and durable. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is run this cable in through this putty. So let me kind of open up some room there. Okay, so that took a little bit of cajoling to get that in there, but we did. Give us enough wires for in here, and then we'll seal that back up here in a sec. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to I use my needle nose here to short out these and make sure there's no, no juice in there. We don't want to get stung. All right, so first step here, let's start doing some wiring. I'm going to pull this white wire off of the capacitor here, and we're going to cut off this end and then strip this wire back a little bit. And we're going to mate it up with the brown wire from the Easy Start. And we're going to do it using our fancy Wago connectors. So these things are great. So this is the white wire. And I'll stick you in there. And then stick our brown wire the other side. Okay. 
Okay, then we spliced the uh, brown and the white wire together. We're going to connect this yellow connector with the white wire onto the same terminal that we had before here, like that. Now we just have a couple wires left, so the orange wire is going to go on to this other terminal where the red wire is coming on, so we'll connect that onto there. And now we have to find this black wire coming from through the hole here that connects to this purple wire, and uh, we're going to cut off this connector, and then we're going to strip this back. wire Come on. Okie doke. Twist these a bit. This kit they give us a three a three connector Wago connector so we'll bring these two back together and connect it with the black wire from the easy start All right, they are all connected. Now we just need to mount the easy start and we can go do the calibration process. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it here. They give you in the kit a little alcohol wipe so we can clean that off really well along with, oops, there it goes, along with um, some good double sticky tape that will hold that on there. So let's clean you off here really well. Let's dry it off here too with another towel. And we've got our double sticky tape we'll put here on the back. So I got the tape on the back here. We have to kind of watch our uh, our wire routing. So we make we want to make sure that this its wires point down, the wires coming off the easy start should point down. We're just going to press it in right like that. Give it a good, a good push or two, and we are good to go do our calibration and test it out. Oh yeah, and before I forget, we need to push our, our putty back in around the wires here again too. So. We have a little bit of moisture sealant around there. That should be good. Okay, let's turn our breakers back on. All right, I've set this for maximum cooling temperature, and we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on for the first run of five.